Hello everybody and welcome back to the Albion News Gaming channel and today we are back with another episode of Karimo. This is episode 3 of our first season. Before we get into this I'm aiming to get 50 subscribers by the end of 2020 and you can make that possible by subscribing so please consider it, it's down below under the so today we are going to be simulating this game against Barnsley FC in the cup we won 3-1 and we're going to be playing some games we've got a bit more transfer activity to do and uh, we've got a final scout report on Mateus Oliveira, Oliveira but some good news is that Jake Livermore is back in the side he's been injured since pre-season uh, I don't think I'm going to go for this Mateus Oliveira uh, from a sporting Lisbon. Would know, does know Mateus Pereira though, uh, so that would be one advantage of getting him. Playing Blackburn Rovers today at the Hawthorns. In real life we won this game 3-2. First win at home, uh, but we've already won at home this season, or have we? I don't... I think we have. Well, no we might not have. This might be our first win at home if we win today. We're going to put Larazabal, who is on loan, in, in into the club. And we're going to put Livermore in. He'll probably play a bit uh, later on. Maybe 85th minute we'll bring him on. And we are at the Hawthorns once again today, as I've mentioned. The team's walking out. It's a good Blackburn side, and uh, we should be able to score some goals against them, though. Where we need to respect them, actually. Uh, because they are a not bad opposition. That's our side for today. Gail Karinovic, Robinson, Pereira is in that attacking positions. Uh, there we go. Nice to see Dwight Gale back at the club uh, on the tournament this time. Do you think he would be a good option to have in the Premier League? Let me know down below in the comments section. Blackburn have signed Amati and they, we've got an uh, ex-West Brom defender Tosin Adarabayo starting as well. Pereira on the wing now, he's gonna chop inside. Now I know it's a kit clash but the away kit is even worse so we're just gonna have to go to the home kit. You can kind of distinguish that kind of uh, dark bluey white of our kit and that kind of very light blue and white of the Blackburn kit. Uh, but it's terrible defending here, and Hagazi misses the ball, and Armstrong is through here, and we could be 1-0 down, but it's a good save by Sam Johnston. Uh, Semi Jai gets it to Pereira, nice skill there from Pereira. Pereira's just going all the way through, but he's uh, brought down, and we have a free kick. O'Shea is going to whip the free kick in, and uh, nothing comes of that. Ajay will try a shot. And here we have a substitution. Philippe Kruvinovic is going to come off for Matt Phillips. I'm going to play Pereira in the centre of the park. Pereira is going to put a ball into the box, looking for Semi Ajayi. He eventually gets there. He doesn't win the header. I find with FIFA 20, you have like six foot two players against six foot two players, like in the box, like around that, for the same height, but you will never win the header. Like, I know heading accuracy isn't that good in FIFA, but winning headers is one of the hardest things to do. I had a six foot six defend, uh, striker who will be taller than a lot, of uh, a lot of centre backs, and he didn't win one header in another career mode. Going back to it, O'Shea's got another free kick and Phillips does win that header, but <laughs> that's... And here are Blackburn, last few minutes of the game now. What will happen? Could we potentially go and get a winner? Or could Blackburn get a winner? Turbo Camille Grisicki wins the header. Turbo can, cuts inside. It comes to Pereira now, there's some space for him to run into. Lovely turn. And there we go, that is a late winner at the Hawthorne. And we have some transfer news here. Ryan Christie is uh, coming into the club from Celtic. That's a good signing. I'm going to put him ahead of Krivinovic. Uh, and I knew he was going to come, but it wasn't confirmed yet. So that's why Barry was fair. New transfer news, Marco Van Ginkel has also joined us on deadline day, he's played for Stoke and Chelsea, 
uh, getting into kind of the stage where he's never really going to make it at Chelsea. And uh, Gibbs, you know, I like Gibbs. He's one of my favourite players at the club, but I never get to use him. And he's going again. He went in the last one. I sold him, though, but we have brought Adam Messina to replace him. I had Masuaku and Emerson. Matt Phillips, if we, uh, I'll tell you what, he's not starting at the moment. So if we can get about £8 million for him, then he can go. He's getting, uh, he's about 28 now, so he's, he needs, he's in his prime, this is where we're going to get the most money for him. Unfortunately, the Phillips transfer fell through, uh, but that's kind of good. We don't get the money, but we get, we still keep Matt Phillips. I, I, uh, he's a good option to bring off the bench. Adam Messina came in, uh, unfortunately remains Sawyer's, uh, will be... Going out of that starting midfield, he might bring him back in, uh, but, um, you know, we'll just have to see who performs the better when they And this is so nice to play at a real stadium in FIFA. I might make a video on, like, features I want in FIFA 21, but one of the things I most want that'll be in the video is just to have more stadiums in England. Just doing a road to glory can just be uh, so kind of dull um, when you're just playing in Town Park and that other one. It, um, if we were to have League 1, League 2 and Championship Stadiums all scanned into a FIFA, then it would be a lot better. Anyway, Cannon Robinson has the ball. And it's a brilliant effort from Gale. Thought that was going to go in. Johansson. The ex baggy on the ball, but Ajayi cuts it out and gets it to Cyrus Christie now. Cyrus Christie beats one player, plays it to Dwight Gale. Gale plays it back to Cyrus Christie, and he scored on his debut. And at half time, it is 1 0. Uh, you know, good start. Hopefully, uh, we can add on to this and not let Fulham into the game in the second half. And we are in the second half now. Kevin Stewart plays it to Mateus Pereira. Mateus Pereira now. Gets past two there. And it's a good shot and a good save. And it's going to be cleared out for a throw in. Dara O'Shea on the wing. Good ball in, but it's a simple catch for Rodak. Rodak gets it upfield. Van Ginkel wins the header. Plays it to Robinson comes in field now he plays it back to Kevin Stewart he's gonna play it to O'Shea O'Shea's gonna put a good ball in and oh Gale wasn't uh, too far off that was close here's Deckled over Reed another player we were linked with uh, and it's uh, bubbles around the box a bit and here's Dara O'Shea he's gonna try and get us up field now Kevin Stewart plays it to Dwight Gale back to Kevin Stewart and he plays it to Christie who could get a second turns inside Harry Arter gets it to Cavaliero to Kearney good ball over to Brian Brian he's gonna beat his man and uh, that's gonna be a corner to whipped in it's headed and that's a good header by Mitrovic who else somebody I may bring in uh, maybe if we go up into the Premier League, uh, might be a target for me, Mitrovic. If uh, we'll have to see as Mitrovic almost scores again. Oh, and that's a terrible mistake, and that's going to be a red card. Surely it's going to be a red card. He can't get away with that. Yep. Oh, you can tell by the cutscene. He has an, an early shower, uh, an early shower for Hagazi. Brian is going to dummy it, and Mitrovic is going to take it, and, uh, oh wait, no. Did Mitrovic dummy it, and did Brian take it? I don't know. And there we go, we get the win, 1-0 against Fulham. Good win away from home. Uh, yeah, well, it's good to beat sides around us, like Fulham, but, uh, 
We've still got quite a bit way to, we've still got a long way to go. We are at the Hawthorns once again. You can see the two ex West Brom loanies, uh, Willock and Pritchard, are both playing for Huddersfield. Corner in for Huddersfield now. Pereira, he's gonna beat his man and uh, get a winner corner. The uh, next corner. It's uh, not a bad ball and Ajayi attacks it and it's just over the bar. Bakuna on the ball. Grant plays it to Willock. It's a good tackle by Ajayi who gets it to Christie. Christie's going to play it to Dwight Gale. He's going to play it to Dara O'Shea. Dara O'Shea it, puts it back to Dwight Gale who puts it into the bottom corner and we're one nil. Grabara plays it back. He's going to put a ball upfield. And Pritchard takes it down. But we win the ball again. Dwight Gale, beautiful ball to Christie. Christie's going to go for one. Gale on the rebound. 2 0. And uh, there we have it. Here are Huddersfield Town. Carlton Grant's getting upfield now. Sawyers. Christie plays Pereira through now. And he's taken out and we have a free kick. That's uh, going to be a yellow card for the Huddersfield left back. And it's uh, not a bad free kick, and it's just wide of the post. It's close, it's close. I think the goalkeeper had it covered. Grant. Plays it back to Vicuna. O'Shea wins the ball, and Christie plays it to Pereira. Pereira. He's going to cut inside. And it's going to go to Christie. Oh, ho, 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 what a finish by Cyrus Christie. Send on the wing. You can put in a good cross. He's not going to have the opportunity now or yet. Townsend puts it to Dean Garner. Dean Garner plays it back to Townsend. And uh, we're going to get another throw in on this. Uh, on the Halfords Lane. And and Gale's got an opportunity. Oh, could have got the hat trick. Pereira coming off. Matt Phillips is gonna take the corner. Bartley has I think an opportunity to head it. He uh, doesn't win the header. And Townsend uh, heads it over to Dean Garner. Dean Garner cuts inside. Another bit of skill and he <laughs> Bartley is going to play it to Romain Sawyers. Cyrus Christie. Gale is in. He's going to turn in. This is the hat trick. It is the hat trick. There we go. Gale is back. And he's, he's scoring. Grant on the wing. Phillips now plays it to Christie. Christie turns, plays it to Livermore. Livermore plays it to Grady Dean Garner. And uh, we brought Charlie Austin on. Might be able to give him an opportunity. Dean Garner's going to place it to Townsend. Townsend to Charlie Austin. Oh, not really a great head of air from uh, only one Charlie Austin. Trick, and we get the dub in the uh, half at the Hawthorns. Um, that is all I have time for today. Um, as I said, make sure to like, share and of course subscribe. Uh, we've got Manchester City in the next uh, episode. Don't normally play the Carabao Cup, but I will definitely play that one. See you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.